there is a saying that goes, don't ask what the country has done for you, but what you have done for your country. We are not fighting for this country alone, because we are fighting for the entire world. You know, one victim brought about so many deaths, so many victims. The soldiers, they fight an open enemy, but we fight enemies that we cannot see. Only the microscope can see the enemies. Zero mistakes are not allowed in this operation. You must be perfect 100%. The staff that I work with are um, heroes. They uh, come from a variety of backgrounds, uh, ex-soldiers, ex-child soldiers. Uh, they are uh, housewives, laborers, college professors, and they've all come together to fight Ebola. Transporting an Ebola patient requires a highly skilled and highly trained professional Every day, they, they come to work. They wait for the calls that they know that will come. They put on PPEs in 95 degree weather with 100% humidity. They, they'll do this four times, five times, six times a day. They, they do this. Um, they don't complain. They get up and do it. Yeah, have you collected a patient? Now, here is a Wellington area. We are here to pick a patient, and that's the responsibility of with the Handicap International as an ambulance fleet. I go to the community and sensitize the people because some people will decide to stop us, to reject the disinfection. Some communities, when you go there, they will tend to abuse you. They will tend to even fight you. They will say, you people are carrying Ebola. <laughs> but we'll try to calm down and talk to them. We are here to prevent Ebola. the tent because of the rain. We don't want the, the decontamination team to get to get wet. People are always supervised by um, observers. By using this team approach, we make sure that everybody uh, remains safe and follows the protocols that we've uh, established. Primary personal protective equipment that we use, of course, is the coverall. It uh, goes from ankles to the wrist and, and then the neck. Uh, providing complete um, coverage of, of the, the uh, limbs and torso. Uh, we then also use rubber boots and then use a, a, a face mask, goggles, and a hood and uh, cover it with an apron and then three pairs of gloves, uh, two pairs of soft uh, nitro gloves and a, and a pair of uh, uh, heavy rubber gloves. <laughs> We dress in a full PPE, we go into the house, we try to disinfect the whole of the room where the patient stays. So we take them out, disinfect them properly, we take them along with us, we replace it. What happened here is a job done well for the, the guys. We look somehow have a small bit difficult with the environment, the people, but at the end of the day, they understand. They keep calm and we did the job. I 
I, I'm so proud to have fought Ebola with these people. It, it's been an honor to, to lead them. They've inspired me to work 10, 12 hour days, seven days a week for five months for this. I, I, I do it for them. It's the best job I ever had. I want the world and I want my fellow Americans to know um, what my, these people here in Sierra Leone have, have done for them. Please, please don't forget them.